it was not too long ago that we talked about the restructures that Disney was going to go through. It all started with Bob Iger deciding to step down and hand over his duties, and then we heard that there was going to be a major shift in how they deliver content, specifically focusing on digital distribution. Well, Disney has officially committed to this, and in a pretty big article from Deadline, I'm going to go over the basics and why this is huge and why it's important. So as always, when it comes to confirming and talking about things like this, there's always a lot of a useless jargon, let's put it that way, that is included in everything that they're talking about when they make a press release or talk about what's changing in a company. And we could sit here and talk about it for like 10 minutes and waste your time, or we're gonna do what I'm gonna do and give it to you in about a minute and simplify it and then break down why it's important. So what's happened is that Disney has officially committed to a huge restructure that's going to expand all the media and entertainment distribution with a brand new tech team that's already been working there behind the scenes involved with everything. What this new restructure is going to do is take like media engineering, the services, the designs, the platforms, the distribution, the advertising, the businesses, it's all going to connect to one central node that's going to talk and be interconnected with every single brand. And their goal is to expand into every single corner of everything that Disney owns, cross market, cross promote, make sure there is synergy across the way in everything Disney has. Now why this is important is last time we talked about Disney's commitment to pushing digital and Disney Plus, this now is a huge step in that direction towards making that really the cornerstone of all of their business. AKA synergy between everything, more products, theme parks, everything sort of working together as one, everything operating. So when you drop into the ecosystem, you're part of the ecosystem and nothing feels disjointed. So for example, if you look at international releases for Disney Plus and how they connect to some services, more or less what they want to do is make sure that down the road, once contracts all uh, you know expire and they can work on new ones, that years from now, you're gonna have one outlet for everything Disney and you can get it all from one. You don't have to worry they don't have to be complex. They want to make it as easy as possible for you and deliver more content than ever before through all the outlets. So let's say hypothetically, if somebody comes up with a good idea for something new, Star Wars or a cheaper Marvel thing, Feige can greenlight it, then it doesn't have to be part of the MCU. It can be a cartoon over here or a new season of a Modoc like show over here and they'll still have synergy and connect it to things because people are talking to each other. So this will be huge towards delivering more content in the years to come. 